Hey guys, how are you doing? So this is just going to be a very quick video about uh, how to use Notepad++ when you're using Ashes. Some other things that we find useful when we're uh, when we're playing around with Ashes. If you don't know how to download Notepad++, you know you just type it in Google, select the first link, and you know big download button here is pretty straightforward. I'll put a link in the description anyway. So yeah, today we're not going to use Ashes, but I just want to generate a text file. So I'm opening the Blade database, selecting a blade, and exporting the shape file. These are things that we've done in other uh, in other videos, right? So I'm calling this test two and save. Okay, and now Notepad plus plus is just open automatically. So this just looks like a normal text editor. We use it because it's pretty convenient when it comes to columns. So right now things don't look good, they look a little bit messy. And that's because of the size of the tab. Right now the size of the tab is a little bit too small. So to change that, you just go to settings here, preferences, select language. And then under tab size, you can select something else like, I don't know, 15. Press enter and here it goes. So now things look much better, right? And uh, the other pretty useful thing that we're uh, that we're using quite a lot is how to select columns. So the thing is that if I pressed Alt right now, you don't see it, uh, but on my keyboard I'm pressing Alt and I just select the column. Then I can choose, you know, whatever I want, but only from this column. And then that's pretty convenient because I can also change, you know, all the values of all the values that I've selected. That uh, can save you sometimes in certain situations. Okay. There's some other cool stuff, you can just uh, find it out. And probably the things that I showed you would have taken you five minutes to uh, to find them yourselves, but maybe with the video it will take you three instead. So yeah, that's it for now. Um, if you have any comments or doubts or anything, just let us know. And uh, otherwise, I'll just see you in the next video.